Hello, hello guys. How you guys all doing today? It is Kana kind of Plays and I am going to go ahead and try to give you all some tips on maybe making some money in Bannerlord. Um, I don't know if I'm doing a fantastic job here, but it's pretty straightforward. Um, they made it a lot more simple, I'd say, um, than making money in the last one, but starting off early game, I would initially be kind of at a loss for how to make money, you know, just killing bandits, taking their gear, running it to the nearest city, selling prisoners. It was a major bottleneck, and you can do that for a while, and you'll make, you know, good 20, 30,000 doing that. Um, but the thing is, is that you have to, you have to honestly continue trying to make money. And so I was looking into it, and um, you know, you got to automate it for yourself, so you don't have to really worry about that. Um, so if you look here under the little gold tab. Um, I currently have 210,000 dinars. I don't. I know it's not super rich by any means necessary, but having this money will allow me to invest more, and then I'll get more, and so on and so forth. Um, there's a lot about the game I don't know, so I'm just kind of going off my own my own thing here. But you definitely want to run some caravans. So pretty much every single caravan that I have um, generally nets a profit. And I know it looks like it's saying I'm making expected negative 1,847, but genuinely, just playing, um, I tend to go up <laughs> every every other other round. So I've been constantly gaining money, and then as you play, you know, you'll generally be fighting enough dudes. That's, that's my castle there. I just got a thief, and I'm on day freaking who even knows what day it is now? 300 or something? I don't know. It's ridiculous, but. The game's definitely got some bugs. Um, I've I've completely lagged out like 15 times. Loop running, so that was not fun. But yeah, I'm running to Marnath right now. I know it's glitchy. Um, I'm running here so I can show you exactly how to set up a caravan. Um, so you want to talk to pretty much any one of these business people when you come to the cities. You can walk around and be a little bit more immersive. But I'm just for the sake of the video going to select one of these guys. I'm going to say the Wool Weaver. Um, let's go ahead and talk with her. I generally pick like the main capital of a specific faction, so we will see here. And sorry about my mic quality. I'm actually using an audio recorder, so it's not truly up to par. I could be using um, a blue snowball I had, but it actually fucking broke, so <laughs> we're kind of screwed here with just the audio interface. Recorder. Um, loading screens are brutal in this game. If you're planning on getting this game or thinking about getting this, or already have the game, prepare yourself for loading screens. Just get worse. <laughs> it does not get better. Um, hopefully, things will get better though. So yeah, you talk to the wool weaver, and it's as simple as I wish to form a caravan in this town. They say you need at least fifteen thousand. You need to hire caravan guards. And um, actually, I do not have a free companion right now. But literally, as soon as you have the free companion you send them off on a caravan and I know you want to have nice companions in your party, you want to have companions in your, your thing, so generally they have a bottleneck so you can't just infinitely spam these, uh, what's it called, uh, these caravans, um, but regardless, um, it's definitely a great way to make money early on in the game. I'm, I'm now totally running, building troops, I don't have to worry about um, not having money to repair things, so... Things are going pretty well for me um, in this save. Uh, but ultimately, I started actually with the Sturgia um, way up here, and uh, they they basically let me down. They had very minimal troops, and uh, we were getting whooped everywhere we went. So the Empire was whooping us left and right. So I came over to Britannia. Um, regardless be pretty good though. Um, ultimately, with the bottlenecks on on the caravans, you'll still make so much money and won't even be funny. So um, I'm kind of just waiting to see if I can get um, a check from. There you go. So it says negative 1,600. Um, but ultimately, I'll promise you, I've made pretty much all of this money off of caravans. It's a very misleading number there because. Um, caravans vary, like some days they make thousands, some days they don't, and generally it benefits a lot of the time. Like I wouldn't have 207,000 um, if it wouldn't be for the caravans, I 
would definitely only have like 40k if even. So what I generally do to make a lot of my other money is, um, you know, if you don't know already, you need to stack your, your, your inventory with as many horses as you can to hold as much stuff as you can. I, can, I have 18,000 space because of all these horses I have, just tons of horses. And, um, you know, I have a lot of gear here as well, so generally I'll just sell off all the gear to the nearest city. And I know you guys already know how to do that pretty much, um, but ultimately, like, I haven't had to worry about my money for so long now um, that I've just been, you know, stacking all this gear on my character. And so now I have this ridiculous number of gear. And it, I mean, not right now. I, I just already sold it all. I had like at least nine to 10,000 amounts of shit. But I just go in here, and I'm sure there's a better way of doing this. You can lock everything out and then just send everything over with this. Sell all. I'm pretty sure. Let's check it out. If you select all these, lock them, lock these horses in place. Like I have a thousand Imperial Chargers, two thousand Valadian, three thousand SRI horses. It's just ridiculous. Lock out the food. Play can get sold. And I don't care. And we just want that. Make sure we have it. Yeah, so this is a quick way to sell things. Make sure you just lock everything. And then I'm pretty sure you can just boom. So I just sold all that. I'm going to get 144,000. I'm pretty sure I can't. Yeah, they can't afford that. So I'm gonna have to take back some shit, I guess. Um, I know I haven't gotten into the, uh, the crafting in the game, but you can see that's a ton of money. I'm not gonna sell it right now. Clearly, I I, I take it a little bit slower. I go in and out of all my gear, kind of see what I wanna keep and what I don't but ultimately you have a clan um, you have your clan tier level and this will generally give you another companion almost every time you level it up um, you'll get more companion size so you can see nearly all of these dudes are just running a a caravan but ultimately um, you know I just started another a few other um, parties so but my castle wages are the only reason I'm actually negative right now because generally I had a lot, lot more going for me before I started this castle stack. Um, you know, I'm just building as many troops as I can. So ultimately, I'm sure there's tons of better ways to make money, and there's going to be more ways to make money as I continue to play. But as far as I can tell, the best way is to just stack as many caravans. I'm very tempted to take my my lord. You can see here I have um, I have a party of 64 men here and transforming them, disbanding them, and turning them into another caravan. So, and you can always check which places are um, potentially better with their caravans. I would recommend choosing the empire you're in, just because it's closer, you're, you know, you can protect it or not, you know, it's, it's all that good stuff. So, but yeah, besides that, um, I don't really think there's much more I can discuss on money. Um, you know, sell your prisoners, that's a huge one um, to fund anything I've done thus far. I, especially at the start, I sold all my prisoners. Prisoners seem really, really, really invaluable at the start of the game, but as soon as you get prisoners that are worth something, like lords and whatever, they genuinely give you a lot of cash. I'll come in and get 20, 40k off of just some prisoners. So, Anyways, hopefully this helped, guys. Um, make sure to leave a like or subscribe if you would like. If not, diss my ass. I don't really... I don't really mind too much. Either way, I hope you enjoyed, though, and um, hope this helped. So, catch you guys later.